So Scotty mate, why have you brought me all the way to Duxford today? Well Arthur, I've brought you to Duxford for a bit of a challenge. I thought we could each choose a couple of aeroplanes, we advocate the aeroplanes for our followers and viewers, Right. and then we put it to the vote. Which aeroplane is best? Fine, I'll have normal, some of that. Normal bet? Quid. Quid, you're right. right. I'll have some of that. I'll see you back here in a few hours. Hanging above me is the U-2 Dragon Lady, built by Lockheed Martin and Kelly Johnson in the early 1950s. It first flew in 1955 and was built from scratch, not for an Air Force, but for the CIA, making it a really true spy plane. It was built to spy on people. It can loiter at altitudes of around 70,000 feet. That's on the edge of space. And it can still read information like a text message on your phone. Just try to get your head around that just for a second because it's mind-blowing. When they first built this aircraft, the intention for it was that it could fly higher than any ground-to-air missile or fighter interceptor of the day. And it did it reasonably well up until 1960s when it was shot down uh, by the Russians and we have that famous case of Gary Powers being captured and big Cold War espionage. It's still flown today, still gathering information about the world in which we live and to me it is a super, super cool jet. Although can you really call it a jet? Because many people actually liken it to a glider because of its high aspect ratio wings and its flight capabilities at such high altitudes. Either way you look at it, this aeroplane is seriously impressive seriously groundbreaking and for me pretty special so arthur is going to convince you that the u2 is the best spy plane ever built he's wrong this is the best spy plane ever built this is the sr 71 blackbird it was built in the skunk works the brainchild of uh, clarence kelly johnson it goes higher faster and further than the u2 and the only reason that this was ever built was that the U-2 was shot down. It goes Mach 3.5. It goes up to 85,000 feet, 15,000 feet higher than the U-2. People inside this had to wear spacesuits because if they were exposed to the outside, the blood would boil. Everybody just wants to look cool in a black aeroplane and go really fast, really high. Oh, and this does all of those.